Ah, once again, it's tapping time. The past number of years I've tried numerous methods of hanging buckets onto your spiles. Last year when I decided to stop drinking ale and drink more box wine, I realized, ooh, look what we got. A really new a new method of going about um, collecting your sap. Uh, by taking a, this year I'm using these, I guess they're three liter box wine bags. I've used them for numerous things in the past. Uh, blow up pillows, they're really good. Carrying water around in your van if you want, in the truck. So uh, I've had three different kinds of spigots here that, that opens the wines. Uh, this is one I just used minutes ago. And we'll use uh, reuse one of these. Uh, we'll continue our experiments with that. Of course, there's this this variety that will uh, twist and open. But when you on just simply untwist them, you can see right through. And I haven't actually figured out how to block up that end. So we're not using them yet. But we are going to use that one with the red with the red spot. I couldn't tell you what variety it is. I don't know. What I have done is, uh, I, the first thing I did was extract, here, we'll put this over here. So I'm using my laptop because I, I don't, I just don't have a, I don't have a camera. First thing I'm doing is uh, using this primitive tool to take that spigot out. Uh, just kind of crank in here and go in here. Crank, crank it out. Kind of like uh, this is only the second one I did, so it, you're watching it as, as as much as I'm watching it. Pop that out, kind of like that. The spigot. Next thing I did was uh, <clears throat> check out to see what the mechanism looks like in there. You can't see it there. I figured all we really had to do was uh, extract. Uh, that I think we can get away with just pushing that through kind of like that pushed it through with a pair of pliers you can't see can you well too bad you're getting the idea and this guts come out Doink. <clears throat> that leaves a little can't see in this light too bad a rubber seal there you go there's a rubber seal that, a spile, will just crank in there. Oh, right, this is another thing I did. Was I uh, reduced the, um, my spiles to fit into there. Crink. Crink, crink, crink them down. Crink them down to fit. All these spiles I have, and there's more of them in my collection somewhere have been uh, metal detected. <laughs> when I'm out in the woods, I happen to uh, just get a signal, dig it up, and sure enough, there'd be a spile here, a spile there. I found a collection of them one day. It must have been dropped in the snow somewhere. And uh, that's where I got my spiles from. I don't know. I guess you can get them store-bought. Anyhow, there's these old antique run-of-the-mill spiles. So, something that'll fit better into here. Kind of like that. Now what you want to do is make sure this thing stays on. So what I did was put this sim simply put this back in the bag. Crunch. Seat it wonderfully there. Make sure it's seated tight. And took some bailing wire. Which I uh, found metal detecting. Oh, oh boy, how about that? Anything you want, this is America. Anything you'll need is on the side of the road. This is at the side of a carnival field where they were putting up some fence I found underneath the leaves. So you want to get enough wire, maybe, I don't know, what's that, 10 inches, 12 inches of wire to wrap around the, uh, the bag itself. Mm-hmm. Wrap it around the bag itself. Give it a twist with your pliers, with your Lyman pliers. Give it a twist. Did I find these two? 
I probably did. And let's see, how did I do this? I rotated this, because they're all different. I rotated this, rotated this one to the back of the spigot, where the, where the wine used to come out. So it's underneath the bag when you're hanging it on the tree. It'll be, rotate this around so it's up. This is underneath. The spile would go into here. Cram it in there. Spiles like that. You can take your wire, bend it up on the back of the spout, give it a twist. Give it a twist. What I did uh, was uh, make sure there was enough wire because you got to lift this bale later, you know, when you get your bag off to empty it. Uh, now it has a convenient way of. Oh gosh, you can see my dirty dishes. Sorry about that. Actually, there's a clean dishes. So don't worry. So, there, you got a little bale you can lift up off of the. off of that. And it'll sit on the tree like that. And once you drill it into the tree, the weight of it just keeps it on there. Well, I think that's pretty much says it all. That's all you really need to know. You know how to drill a hole in a tree with your uh, portable power saw uh, drill, right? Good. We don't have to go into that. Tap in your tap. In your tap hook up a bag. And I have a, two bags out there. Feeling like that. It's a very early season this year. What with uh, the global warming, etc., etc. Well, uh, good luck. Have some fun out there, and uh, maybe we'll show you how we um, um, boil it down a little later on your wood stove. All right, have at it, kids. <laughs>